And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lulu Taric as our third Ionia deck today. This one's maybe not going to be quite as good as our other two, which both looked incredibly strong. Uh, but this one's going to be a lot of fun. We haven't had the most success with playing Lulu and Taric before, but they do have a lot of good synergies between the two of them. Of course, because Lulu wants to see allies have been supported three plus times to level up. And Tarek wants targeted or supported 7 plus times to level up. So they're both support champions. So they work really well together. They curve into each other. One, you know, like 3 mana, 4 mana. Perfect. So now we're going to be playing it, though, with this, again, this Dancing Droplet package. That has just proven to be incredibly good. Uh, the um, Homecoming with Dancing Droplet is perfect. Um, you get, you know, like the Attune on the Dancing Droplet is really, really good. Um, so yeah, we're going to be putting that th that uh, package in here. We got Droplet, we got Retreat, we got Shadow Assassin, we got Homecoming. We're not going to have that this same package in the C the Sivir Z deck, okay? So if you're kind of getting tired of seeing <laughs> these four Ionia cards together, they're great. That's what today is Ionia Day, but we're we're going to be doing something different with Sivir Z. That's going to be a basically all Shurima deck with Golden Ambassador. Anyway, um, so we're going to have that good interaction. But then it's going to be about um, buffing stuff up. So we're going to be playing Mountain Sojourners to be able to grant plus two, plus two with its support. And um, Mentor the Stones granting plus two, plus two with its support. And uh, then we're going to have a card like Sparklefly, right? So like if we're going to be buffing stuff up, we want a really good payoff for buffing something up. So we're going to have some elusives. So like we have Dancing Droplet, Sparklefly, and Shadow Assassin as some different elusives that we can buff up, especially Sparklefly. And then we'll also have the gems, right? Whenever Mentor dies, we get gems, Mountain Goat making gems. And so those extra gems can buff up Sparklefly or they can help target to level up Taric. Um, and that we also have the Spacey Sketcher that we can discard the extra gems and start invoking. And this could be pretty cool with Spacey Sketcher. If we have like a handful of gems, right? We can use Spacey Sketcher and then like Retreat Return and Homecoming with the Spacey Sketcher and then just keep invoking other cool stuff. So that's kind of what the deck's all about. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's see how it does. Lulu Taric. We'll go play our five games in rank. Like Sparring Student and uh, Green Glade Duo with Out of the Way is pretty nice because you get to keep those buffs the whole time. That is pretty nice. All right, it's so always difficult for these small unit decks to defeat Maybe I need to keep the Spirit's Refuge. It's always difficult to defeat Overwhelm. Oh man, I don't want Bastion. Tarek's pretty cool. Please no Merciless Hunter. Because Merciless Hunter kills my um, Sparklefly, and my Sparklefly going to be important. So something else. Gonna catch the sky. My board. This adaptation requires concentration. Kind of want to retreat return this Mentor of the Stones. Or we can just get all the gems and Spacey Sketcher a gem. Alright, I'm just going to let it happen and play Tarek. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. I bring clarity. Final answer. Moonglow's not bad with Tarek, but then again, we already have Bastion. We take the Messenger to keep the card draw going. I kind of like the Moonglow, though. I 
you're taking a little bit of damage. Try to get you know get rid of this overwhelm. Unyielding. That's all. You wanna I guess I should just be gemming this and then it's the four, but that's yeah, not too surprising. Kind of expecting that, and you know, like retreat's a good option to have available. I don't think that should count towards Sivir's level up. As far as I know, yeah, doesn't count. Gotta be worried about Battle Fury. Pain is nothing. It's a living. Stand and fight. We gotta have another pump spell if they're willing to do that, right? Which I don't love, but... Stand resolute. Oh, I don't have mana for retreat? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I thought I had mana for retreat. This can be bad. No pump spell! Okay, so they were just trying to level up Sivir, I guess. Okay, so let's see. Who do I want to have at Challenger? Probably Tarek. Tarek Challenge Sivir. Did that just pop the spell shield? No, it's back on there. I don't seem to have the card draw in this deck that we've had in some of the other decks. I can, of course, put this Spacey Sketcher back in my hand and discard Gem. Probably saying they have another Battle Fury in hand. That's that's my guess. They just have two Battle Furies in hand. Want to see Homecoming? Homecoming. I don't think I've, I don't think I have any hush in here. No, I took out the hush because I'm playing three homecoming. Go, 
Yeah, so I couldn't block, right? Because if I block, then it gives them the opportunity to play another Battle Fury. Which, that's what I think this card is. I think this card right here is Battle Fury. Uh, Alright. That Frostbite's everything. Oh, wait. No. They just draw a card. Wait, was that the card that I thought was Homecoming? Or, not Homecoming. Sorry, Battle Fury. Okay, so we're gonna give you vulnerable. Really hope they can't damage my Nexus. Wait, that just blows up the spell shield. Well, that wasn't great. Will cascade you. Strong. Yeah, that wasn't great. Just gonna three damage. Never really hope they can't deal damage to my Nexus for the Sejuani, because every single attacker is lethal besides you know, like as long as the Sparklefly hits them, all the rest of them are dealing three. Prove your worth. My desert, my rule. Alright, cool. That was kind of a weird ending. But a good win for Lulu Tarek. Sparklefly. Alright, Zoe Shivana really in soul. They have bigger challengers than us with the Dragons of Fury. I do not like my chances. Pill Cascade with Taric is always very good, and I feel like since they're playing, you know, more expensive, bigger units that are awesome, I feel like I gotta keep this homecoming. Gotta save us, Lifeguard Taric. Gotta save us. Yeah, they they some some people play Ice Shard in that um, Overwhelm deck, and yeah, Ice Shard would have would have been devastating. That was the card I was praying that they didn't have. Definitely considering just passing. It's only one damage. I'm not, don't really want to play the gem. I want to keep Gale Cascade available. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. I bring clarity. They are nothing. Never submit. Pill Cascade with Taric is so good. Kind of missed the days of that plus two, plus one Pill Cascade. If I play Shadow Assassin, I'll have seven mana next round. If I don't play anything, I'm looking at nine mana. Part. I can obviously I can I can protect the sparkle fly, but then if they you know again fight and kill the sparkle fly, then I everything dies. We're gonna try to just protect the Taric different ways. It's definitely not what I wanted to see. I should have just homecoming last round, at the end of last round, after they played that. That's too bad. GG's. 
Shivana Screeching Dragon's awesome. I, I should have homecomings at the end of last round with that four mana. That would have had six here. That was that was my mistake. Fine. Looks over now. It's too bad. Oh. Alright, one on one. Great card. Okay, Lissandra Talia. So this is a homecoming matchup. Gotta have homecoming. There's a homecoming. Look for small, cheap units to bounce. These two cards aren't very good. Or is it Droplet or something like that? Or all right, Lulu. Homecoming, of course, important because of bouncing their landmark. You like when it's getting the countdown going. This can recall landmarks. Could get Ice Shard away. So that's something I have to watch out for, like if I'm homecoming this droplet. You know, Ice Shard, Avalanche, all that kind of stuff. Perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. Yep, that's GG's. Okay. That went as good as it could. Definitely glad it was that one, not Talia, that, you know, doubled it up. Oh, Draven Ezreal. Draven Ezreal always good against small little Lulu decks. Let's see... This is all pretty good, though. Like, we need another unit to go along with Lulu, but, like, these are very good protection spells. So I kind of want to just keep this. Get him, Lulu. Maybe not. Can you improve perfection? Don't want it to be Stunned. Taking a hit here. We're going with Mentor of the Stones for the support. 
I did keep Lulu and some spells that I, I liked, but didn't really find anything else to actually support. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. Almost didn't work out. Yeah, it didn't work out. I was definitely, you know, my hand is definitely better against like all their removal spells and stuff, and not their aggressive go wide part of their deck. And unfortunately, they had the aggressive go wide part of the deck. Yeah, I didn't keep I didn't keep pump coming in my opener. I don't think I did. I guess that Scorched Earth. Yeah, I don't, uh, don't think we're winning this. Got a support in. Finally got it. Finally got a support in. We're back in it. That not so much. The dark beckons. You cannot escape. Two down to eight. Yeah, more decimates for them. I need to be able to buff up this Sparkle Fly super bad. So they have a way to stop this, I lose anyway. Nothing I can do about that. Five four? Overwhelm? It hit the allegiance? Wow. Well, I guess I gotta do that. Beam's a heck of a card. All right, two and two. All right, so we got Zoe Jinx. This will be a, a fun, interesting matchup. A couple of similar style decks. Um, yeah, let's keep the rest. We need Dawn and Dusk. <laughs> Dawn and Dusk could be nice.
That's an early spacey sketcher. What are they discarding? Oh, that thing. I was definitely hoping for the 2 1 challenger to be able to challenge their 0 2. I guess the charger will trade with the serpent. Possible they go with. I don't know. So, like, what did they get there for that invoke? Maybe is it like a double stun? Oh, that thing gets to five health now. Oh, I'm one mana short from killing it. That's a problem. That's a huge problem. I wish I would've just played the Lulu first and didn't play the Droplet, because then if I play the Lulu first, they play the Jinx, then I can just challenge immediately, but it would've made sense to play the Droplet anyway. I probably wasn't expecting that too much. This is really bad. So obviously all these things on my side have one health. I'm hoping they can't empty their hands. Um, yeah, like, like, that's my best hope right now. It's not a good sign. Yep, great hand. Good hand opponent. I... Even for how, like, these, you know, for, like, looking at the cards that they're playing and everything, I feel like I would be just fine playing this matchup a lot, but... They had the hand. They had the hand and they got me. I wish we could play that one again, though. Anyway, there we go. That was Lulu Taric. I think it was a competitive deck. You know, I think, I think that we were pretty competitive in all... You know, most of those games. Not as... Not as com I don't know like the so we lost to like Draven Ezreal Shivana um, you know Shivana Dragons and um, we had some weird hands in both of those but you know like the Shivana Screeching Dragon all spells that's gonna be really tough for any kind of deck like this to beat and same with Draven Ezreal just normally because they just have such good removal those are gonna be tough ones to win the Draven Ezreal hand was just like really wonky that we had in their hand you know like you know no shame in, in losing those you know I, th I think that we were competitive though and. Uh, who knows like those 
those matchups aren't as bad as what they looked also. I guess that's what I'm trying to say is that the, the <laughs> good things happen for our opponent in, in those, like just speaking of those two games, in those two games and bad things happen for us and, and it looked worse than what it really is. I think our deck um, felt pretty competitive and I think like a normal game would, would have been closer. Not necessarily saying that we would win all the time in those matchups, but I think that they would have been a lot closer, a normal game. All right, but that's going to be it here for Lulu Tarek. Um, always good to play Lulu. Lulu is a fun champion to play, and same with Tarek. Tarek's also a fun champion to play, so uh, a good, fun deck to play. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and as always, uh, please leave those comments. Those uh, always help out. I really love those comments and really appreciate them. And of course, as always, I appreciate you for watching. Thank you so much, and I'll see you for the next video.